in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. In this video, we'll go, we are going to make introduction about power network simulation using MATLAB uh, simulating. And inshallah, next videos, it will, we will go deeply inside the course, step by step. So, uh, let's see the introduction. After installing MATLAB, just open it, you will find Simulink in the upper toolbar, just press it, you can select blank model, here our blank model, which we can all build, okay, of course there is new, you will open new, new model, open, save, print, but the most important here, library, is our library here. So there is a common used blocks, and inshallah in the coming videos, we'll introduce everything, every block which we'll use. Okay, and all these blocks is very important. This block thing, which will display some uh, the reading of voltmeter, ammeters, and there is a scope which will introduce the waveform and signals. The most important library for us, Simscape and electrical, special, specialized power systems. And here you can see in fundamental blocks, electrical sources like three phase voltage source, DC supplies, this is our DC source, control voltage source, control current source. Each block will, during simulation or during videos, in coming videos, we'll, we'll know how to use it. Elements, in this elements there is single phase breakers, some connection between blocks, uh, and linear transformer, multi-winding transformer, zigzag or grounding transformer, non-linear reactor, and some series uh, RLC branches or parallel branches. There is also the overhead lines is available here and can be used for also parameter for cables and three phase winding transformer and two phase two uh, sorry two winding three phase uh, three winding transformer two and three phase two winding transformers also for machines sorry for interface uh, some blocks sometimes can be used for uh, machines courses motors induction and uh, Synchronous uh, machines, measurement blocks. These blocks um, some blocks for total harmonic distortion, RMS, main values, um, Fourier, Fourier value, frequency. So every block, inshallah, also will understand how we will use it. So I will just give you an example from my projects which I made so we can see I already built some overhead lines from coming from another substations so it's another substation breakers and overhead lines to circuit from for example this substation is coming to my 380kV bus okay uh, circuit and another Lines coming from another substation, from third substation, or from fourth substation, have uh, 508 transformers, 380 over 132 kV, and also 132 kV lines going to another substations. Here is this block. Here I can we can see the measurement it will be displayed here. 80 kV line, send end and receive end or remote end and our substation. Our transformer 380 side and 132 kV side, no. and finally 132 kV. Uh, my substation and remote end also, and short circuit for some uh, some areas I will select to display the short circuit. 
in this block this is my network as I, as we can see and also we will know how we will build all this component here the measurement will come in some displays of scopes like this here the protection and control for once for 380kv lines my service uh, remote end and my service station end for example for each line and pass protection One sixty two thing and finally transformers for example first transformer we can see the control uh, control signal coming to on or, or on or off or means energize or de-energize the transformer reset command and this uh, mean communication signal between 380 kV side and 132 kV side and this is a breaker command here you can see the current measurement coming from cities and voltage measurement and bus trip here the lookout relay Uh, sorry, just this one for indication, some, some signaling or indication. This one is a lookout relay. What is the overcurrent differential relay? Sensitive S fault, restricted S fault. And this block for measurement. Of course, you will all this block I did by myself. I was not provided in MATLAB or in simulating this overcurrent. The current's coming, then I convert to RMS, then I I separate to three phases, and then I build my logic, sorry my um, code, and MATLAB will read and will depend on the current, it will give trip or will not give trip, and then the time delay, and the trip command will come. All trip command for from all functions and then we'll give trip for transform so let's start our simulation This is a big system, that's why it's taking too much time. That's why my, my advice, please only, uh, if, you, if you will make a system, please focus only on the points you need to study. Means if you need to study protection or some response from relays, so only focus on protection. Don't care about the switch uh, or control interlocks. Uh, between these connectors, breakers, like this. If you need to study the control, mean make only your system for only the point you need to study.
finally initialize and now it's running inshallah so you can see i already kept all the precards on so all the precards on overhead lines and feeding 380kv bus bar and all transformer in service and also 132kv in service and other side is loading now I keep also once uh, 380kv one uh, one substation is low as a load you can see here this short circuit so for, for no short circuit in measurement just I will make pause here to check the measurement of course I, we can check measurement during running but just to make the way make the make easy to see the measurement so we can see the lines loading current voltage for each phase for factor voltage angle current angle megawatt loading megawatt percentage loading on the line transformers also how it's loaded on 30 kv side 380 kv side now the current of course is different because this end is still in, in rush mode in rush uh, Taking in rush current, pass voltage 380 kV side to 132 kV side. This depends on the loading now. So let's try, let's continue again. I will make uh, one short circuit for one transformer and let's see. I was protection is responding. So I make one short circuit. Ah, sorry. Here. This is, we can see transform number one trip. So we can go here and go to measurement. Let's see what happened for transformers. This is our transformer. I can see it here. Uh, this blue color is uh, transform number one, ready KV side, sinister verse fault. This is a protection which trips the transformer. So I hope, inshallah, inshallah, next videos we will learn how to build such system how to put settings and how to understand uh, how to make MATLAB useful to understand phenomenas and power network thank you at the end thank you for watching this video and i hope this video give good introduction about MATLAB simulink and how it's helpful this is my contact as shown don't hesitate to contact me for anything and subscribe for subscribe my channel to get notification for coming video so see you in next video